In a world filled with mysteries and unexplained phenomena, the concept of haunted objects has captured the imaginations of many. These allegedly cursed or possessed items are not just the stuff of horror movies. They are deeply rooted in history and often come with chilling takes that have been passed down through generations. And often come with chilling tales that have been passed down through generations. From dolls that seem to move on their own to paintings that exude malevolence, the stories behind haunted objects are as diverse as they are eerie. The Origins of Belief The belief in cursed or haunted objects can be traced back through centuries and across cultures. It stems from the universal human fascination with the supernatural and the unknown. Objects have always held a special place in our lives, serving as vessels of memory, emotion, and sometimes even power. One of the earliest recorded instances of cursed objects can be found in ancient Egypt, where the idea of magical curses was deeply ingrained in their culture. Objects believed to be cursed often featured inscriptions or spells intended to bring harm or misfortune to those who came into contact with them. These curses were typically placed on personal belongings, tombs, and even statues. The famous Curse of the Pharaohs is a prime example. It was believed that those who disturbed the resting places of pharaohs would be cursed with illness, misfortune, or even death. The discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb in the early 20th century, along with the deaths of several individuals associated with the excavation, only fueled the belief in this ancient curse. In medieval Europe, belief in cursed objects was intertwined with superstitions and fear of the supernatural. Objects believed to be cursed included talismans, amulets, and even everyday household items. These superstitions often had religious undertones, with the church playing a significant role in reinforcing the belief in cursed items. The Haunted Mirror The Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana is renowned for its paranormal activity, and at the heart of its ghostly legends is a haunted mirror. The plantation itself has a dark history, having been the site of numerous tragedies, including murders and accidents. The mirror, which now hangs in the plantation, is believed to be haunted by the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her two children. According to legends, Sarah was poisoned, and her dying moments were reflected in the mirror as she clutched her children. Visitors have reported seeing handprints mysteriously appear on the mirror's surface, and even the apparitions of Sarah and her children standing behind them when they gaze into it. The Dye Book Box The Dye Book Box, also known as the Cursed Jewish Wine Cabinet, is another notorious haunted object. Its story gained widespread attention when it was featured in the 2012 horror film The Possession. The box's origin dates back to post-World War II Poland, when it was acquired by a Holocaust survivor named Havila. The box is said to contain a dye book, a malevolent spirit from Jewish folklore that can possess the living. Havela believed that the box was cursed and experienced terrifying nightmares and paranormal activity after obtaining it. She eventually passed the box to her family, who also suffered from bizarre and disturbing events. In 2003, the box came into the possession of Kevin Manis, an antique store owner who purchased it from a Havela's granddaughter. Manis soon realized that the box was far from ordinary, it seemed to bring misfortune to anyone who owned it. He decided to sell it on eBay, but the buyer, Jason Haxton, experienced a series of eerie events after acquiring the box, including unexplained medical issues and ghostly apparitions. Haxton, a respected museum director, eventually conducted extensive research on the box and consulted with rabbis to safely contain its malevolent spirit. The dye book box is now sealed with an acacia wood cabinet and stored in a secret location. Its story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of tampering with the supernatural. The Haunted Painting The Hands Resist Him is a daunting painting created by artist Bill Stoneham in 1972. The artwork depicts a young boy and a female doll standing in front of a glass door, with many disembodied hands pressed against the glass. While the painting itself is eerie, it's the alleged paranormal events associated with it that have garnered attention. The painting gained notoriety when it was listed for sale on eBay in 2000. The seller claimed that the artwork was haunted, describing strange occurrences in its presence, such as the characters in the painting moving on their own and hands reaching out from the canvas. 
The listing also included a warning that the painting should not be kept in a room where people sleep. The story of the hands resist him took on a life of its own, with numerous individuals claiming to have experienced unsettling phenomena when viewing the painting. Some even reported feeling a sense of dread or being watched. While skeptics argue that the alleged paranormal events are purely psychological, the painting's unsettling imagery continues to captivate and disturb those who encounter it. The Anguished Man Painting The Anguished Man is a chilling painting that has become known for its sinister reputation. Unlike other haunted objects, this painting doesn't depict overtly creepy or supernatural imagery. Instead, it portrays a shadowy, faceless figure standing in a dimly lit room. The painting's creator remains unknown, but the legend surrounding it is anything but ordinary. The tale of the anguished man began when Sean Robinson, the painting's current owner, inherited it from his grandmother. According to Robinson, his grandmother kept the artwork stored in her attic for years, and she claimed that the painting was cursed. She told stories of eerie phenomena associated with it, including unexplained noises, shadowy apparitions, and a pervasive feeling of dread. Robinson decided to put the painting to the test and hung it in his home. Almost immediately, he and his family began experiencing strange occurrences. They heard footsteps in empty hallways, witnessed objects moving on their own, and even saw a shadowy figure lurking in the corners of their home. Robinson's son, in particular, suffered from night terrors attributed to the presence of the painting. In an attempt to capture evidence of the paranormal activity, Robinson set up cameras around the painting. The footage he captured was unsettling, showing doors opening and closing on their own, inexplicable knocks and eerie shadows moving across the room. These recordings have contributed to the painting's eerie reputation. Haunted objects, whether cursed or possessed, have been a part of human folklore and belief systems for centuries. These mysterious artifacts tap into our fascination with the supernatural and our fear of the unknown. The stories behind haunted objects often involve a combination of historical events, psychological factors, and a willingness to suspend disbelief. While skeptics may dismiss the notion of haunted objects as mere superstition or imagination, the allure of these items remains strong. Whether it's the eerie tale of Annabelle the doll, the malevolent Dybuck box, or the haunting imagery of the Hands Resist Him painting, these objects continue to spark our curiosity and fear. Have you ever encountered a cursed object or a paranormal experience? Let us know in the comments section below, and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.